In my experience, this world is oversaturated. We are expected to do so many things in our life. We should be well educated and then work a full time job to get a house and a car. We should aim for high goals and reach something great in our life. We are told that everything is possible in this life if you work hard for it. So if you don't do something great, you just did it wrong. We should go on holidays and have a hobby. We should maintain friendships, volunteer. We should be taking care of our family and we should keep learning throughout our lives. We should follow the trends, keep up with social media and know about the news all of the time. We should also eat well and exercise. It makes you wonder, how on earth are we supposed to do all that? Well, the answer is, we can't. Most of us work our ass off and still can't seem to get it all done. I feel like so many people these days are stressed, depressed, burned out and have anxiety. It's almost an accomplishment if you don't. I feel like especially my generation is having a difficult time mentally. I think that's so sad and I think it's because we've made this life so complicated as a society. To fit into our society you need to take a lot of responsibilities. To get a job, a mortgage, pay rent, etc. All those expectations make life really hard. While life itself is actually simple. Living life is actually the easiest thing there is to do. It's the passing of time. You don't even need to do anything for it. It happens for you. That's why my main goal in life is to enjoy the passing of time. To enjoy the time that is passing. If we look around in nature, we see that we are the only species that make themselves so busy that we get physically unwell from it. It goes against our nature in so many ways. A tiger only catches prey when it needs to eat. And when his belly is full, he lays down to take a rest. He's not immediately rushing out to go get more prey. He doesn't catch more than he needs or he can stomach. When a bird builds a nest, they are not going out building a second and a third one to have more and to impress the other birds. They only put in the effort for the things that are necessary. I've been trying to simplify my life for the past few years. When I became a minimalist, I didn't only try to minimize the things in my home, I also tried to minimize the things on my calendar. I started saying no to things I didn't want to do, instead of doing what was expected of me. I became more intentional about the people I was meeting. And most importantly, I started seeing money in terms of time. I calculated how much I need every month to live and save, and I work enough to make that amount of money. I intentionally don't work more than that. I think my free time is far more valuable. And I think the only way to simplify your life is to lower the amount of things you believe you need. The only way is to lower your standard and to live on a smaller foot. Not to deprive yourself of the joys of life, but to clear up time to be able to enjoy the joys of life. My perception of what brings me joy has changed a lot over the years. I used to dream about traveling the world, going to Canada and the United States, going on big expensive trips, seeing the world. I still think it would probably be fun to visit those beautiful places if I was with the people I love. If I would be alone, it would be a lot less fun. 
and I would have to work my ass off all year to be able to take one or two big trips a year, I don't think it's worth it for me. I would have to spend so much time working, doing something I don't truly enjoy, just for a few weeks of fun. Well now that I lower my standard, I can be at home a lot more. All year I can spend more time with my partner, my dog and my family. I have way more time to relax and be in nature. Every Monday morning, when I walk my dog in nature, I feel so blessed and rich. I hear the humming of the entire world getting in their car, going back to work and I just walk there. In peace, with my dog not having to go to work on Monday morning. It truly gets me every single time. Another reason traveling the world is not my dream anymore is because it doesn't align with my values anymore. Traveling the world by plane just for fun is polluting and destroying our planet and I don't want to contribute to that. Many humans act as if we are above all animals, that the planet is ours to do with whatever we please. And we really give ourselves too much credit for that. We are part of this planet just like all the other living beings on this planet. Just like the plants, the air and the water. If we destroy this planet we have no place to live. And yet we act like there's no problem. If you go out in nature and stop walking for a second, to just look around, you'll see that all the insects, birds and other animals are just living their lives. There's an entire world of creatures in our soil which we don't even notice are there. They don't care about what you are doing. To you, it might feel like your worries, your goals and your life are the most important thing, which of course they are to you. But for the animals, their food and their life is the most important thing to them. We are just visitors who are passing by their home. It's not about us at all. When we think we are more important than we are, we justify destroying what is equally important as us. By simplifying, we can live in more harmony with ourselves and with nature. It's quite simple. By spending less money, we destroy less of this planet. And for those arguing that you spend less money if you travel to a low-income country because you can live like a king for a cheap price, that is a very complicated scenario in which you are profiting from the inequality in this world, which I don't think is a good thing either. By not having a car, not going on expensive holidays, buying things secondhand, by buying less and using things for a long time, by growing some of our own food, buying locally and eating mostly plant-based, we save so, so, so much money, which leaves us with a lot of free time in which we don't have to work. We truly overestimate how much happiness money brings us and underestimate how much happiness time with loved ones brings us. And even with all that I've done to clear up time and space, to make room for a simple life, it's still a challenge to keep my life simple. There are constantly temptations to take on projects, see more people or simply wanting to do more. I have to actively protect my time all of the time. I need to constantly reevaluate if things are worth my time and money. With a world with so much temptations to buy things and so many things you could be doing, it's easy to feel like you're missing out. It's easy to fall back into old habits, habits of running around and filling up time. That's what makes it so hard to have a simple life. The problem is not getting a simple life, maintaining a simple life. That's the challenge. But if you resist the temptations in our society for a while, it does get easier. It really takes resistance, but over time you will truly stop wanting all of the things people try to sell you. It will bring insight in what has real value in your life.